Hello, beautiful souls. So, in a sense, it is being prepared for you, and you're being perfectly placed in the position to receive it when it is aligned for you. But that feeling of stuckness you have, or that restless feeling of shouldn't this have happened already, can be a sign that this was actually something that was powerfully part of your soul intentions, but it's been divinely delayed for some reason. And again, I'm hearing that phrase of trust the process here. Now if this reading is resonating with you, I do want to share my personal most powerful tool and resource for shifting my own energy and manifesting in my life, and these are subliminals. Subliminals are audio meditations that contain unconscious affirmations that are embedded within other tones, sounds, and frequencies. The purpose of these affirmations is to bypass the conscious filter of the mind and make deeper, more lasting impressions on the subconscious mind, which research has shown controls 95% of our thoughts, actions, and outcomes in life. So, personally, I have seen such powerful results from regularly using subliminals in my everyday life. So now I am sharing my own library of them through my app, Sound and Soulful. So as you can see on the screen, this is just showing you around my app. I do have over 130 subliminals in the app. They are all available in eight different background sound options. You can read the affirmations while you're listening and you can even create your own custom private playlists. So, personally, for this reading, I would most highly recommend my Ultimate Alchemist Transformation Subliminal. I personally have been using this daily for years now. It's a very comprehensive energy-clearing shifting tool that focuses on manifesting in all different areas of your life. Okay, so I'm going to see if there are any final messages for the beautiful souls tuned into the reading today. So what is one final message for someone who is listening today? The Cloak of Christ from the Rumi Oracle. So I'm just going to read a little bit from the guidebook here. In the School of Humanity, when you become intimate with God, you reside on the King's throne and teach the angels the nature of the divine. Rumi. And the guidebook also says, this cloak is a sacred container that places your body and soul within the loving energy of divine consciousness. This unconditionally loving energy is unlimited. It is typified by wholeness. There is nothing that could cause it to turn away from you, not even those parts of you that may fill you with fear, shame, guilt or regret. Can you allow yourself to take refuge in that knowledge? For you, this is essential. There is a person, place, thing, or belief that has become like a manacle around your wrist or an iron ball and leg iron, preventing you from moving forward with the grace you have earned spiritually. You are being empowered to shed that. Let yourself be cloaked in this energy and receive the spiritual assistance you deserve now. From Divine Muscular Type Yes if you believe.